Since a lot of people, especially on Instagram, ask me how I like get my 808s to sound like they do, I wanted to make a video about it and basically show you how I mix my 808s and what I put on my master. So you can also get your 808s to sound uh, very industry-like or all the beats that you basically hear on like rap caviar and stuff. Since the 808 is like such an important part about hip hop and trap beats. So let's hop into FL Studio real quick. So now that we're in FL Studio, uh, this is like a beat that I made with one of my like producer friends. He's called Doc Went Offline. You can check his channel out in the description. And I just want to take this beat that we made to show off how uh, I like my 808s to sound like. So here's a little beat preview. That's the beat 808 going crazy. Now I'm just gonna show you some little tips and tricks to tweak the 808 to make it sound like it does. I'm just gonna show you what the raw like version of the sample I used in the beat sounds like. So obviously you can hear it's like way too quiet. The 808 or the kick should always be your loudest like sound. Uh, of course there are like some like exceptions, but usually with trap beats and hip hop beats, uh, the 808 should be the loudest so the first thing that i do is of course like put on cut itself so it doesn't like clash and then i just put it on a mixer track but i don't put any third party plugins on there i just use the fruity like sampler in here so first i just uncheck this use loop points uh thing right here just because there are some 808s when you drag them in they're gonna like repeat over and over again and you don't want that to happen so just uncheck it then with some of the beats of course it's always like individual but i like to just like shorten it a bit so uh, just tweak this out knob a bit uh, for this example i just turned it to like 25 percent then next go to this section right here um and use the boost knob and i just like turn it up, up to about like 10 percent like probably like nine percent sounds good and then I take this built-in EQ right here and turn it to 50%. You can see what happens to the sound when we're tweaking this knob. It's just like getting a bit more narrow. So that's pretty much it for the effects. The final thing you need to do, of course, is uh, like boost the velocities up. Then I just add a fruity soft clipper on a master. You can just take like the standard preset one. I personally use these settings right here. And then another thing that I add to the master is this EQ right here. But uh, it doesn't really have to do anything with the 808 since I just like boost the high frequencies a bit. So now that is the final result. That 808 is hitting, man. I think it's a bit too loud, actually. So that's why I usually like turn it down a bit uh, in the like mixer channel right here. I think minus 1.5 decibels will do. And that's basically, I can do that with like every single 808. Uh, I'm just gonna drag in a different one real quick. This one was a bit too loud, but you can see, you can just like drag in different 808s. With some 808s, you have to watch out because a lot of 808s are already like pre-processed and they're already like boosted. So really watch out which sample you're dragging in because if the sample is way too loud and you're still gonna put on all the effects and you're gonna boost it and the 808 is just gonna distort and it's not gonna sound good. So make sure to watch out which sample you're dragging in but uh, the usual like 808 sample should do when you're using these settings. And the final thing that you can do is put the 808 completely into mono. So just take this knob right here and drag it all the way to the right. Basically what that does, it makes sure that your 808 is not too separated and all around in your headphones. It's gonna be very concentrated in the middle where all your bass sounds really should be. But if you want an in-depth tutorial, I made a mixing tutorial. You can check it out in the description as well. Um, it's quite a good video, I think, and you can learn also how to mix your melody and stuff so your 808 can fit into the mix. So yeah, a little shorter video today, but uh, I think the 808 is so important when it comes to hip-hop music, and that's why it definitely like deserves a full video on it. And that's basically it for the video, so I'm gonna see you soon, bro. Bye.